वेलकम टू ग्यास क्लासेस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स आज हम लोग क्लास इलेवेंथ कोनिक सेक्शन पार्ट थ्री एनसीआरटी बुक एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री के क्वेश्चन करेंगे बेसिक पॉइंट के साथ तो चलो देखते हैं क्लास इलेवेंथ कोनिक सेक्शन पार्ट थ्री एनसीआरटी बुक एक्सरसाइज इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री के क्वेश्चन है सबसे पहले हम बेसिक पॉइंट को जानते हैं वॉट इज द बेसिक पॉइंट फॉर दिस एक्सरसाइज सो बेसिक पॉइंट्स बेसिक पॉइंट्स इज वॉट फर्स्ट यू सी कि वॉट इज द इलिप्स वेन देयर इज ए इलिप्स बेसिक फॉर्मूला ऑफ इलिप्स इज वॉट एक्स स्क्वायर अपॉन ए स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन बी स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन इफ ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी देन एक्सिस विल बी वॉट दैट इज एक्स एक्सिस सो इलिप्स Along x axis. So if the given ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to one, and this a square is greater than b, that means ellipse along the x axis, right? So first we have to find the relation between the this is a is called major axis because. The because the ellipse along the x-axis a is greater than b, so a greater, so this is called major axis. So this is x is what major axis and y is what minor axis. So a is what length of you can say the length of major axis. So if you have to find length of major axis, so length of major axis will be what. 2a because a is greater so it is along the x axis and length of major axis will be what 2a in the same way this is length of length of minor axis will be what that is the 2b now there is a c so what is the c c is the distance of set distance of focus from the center so distance of focus from the center is called called what c so what is the relation between a b and c so if your ellipse along the x axis that a is greater than b at that case relation will be a square equal to b square plus c square a square equal to b square plus c square where a is the what That is the semi. That is called semi-minor axis, semi-major axis, and B is what semi-minor axis. Okay, so a square b a square a greater than b. So a square equal to b a square plus c a square. This is the relation between a b and c, right? So a is what a is the a is what length of semi-major axis. B is the length of semi-minor axis. I see the distance of center from the focus, right? Now there is a eccentricity. So eccentricity E equal to what? So eccentricity is the ratio. Eccentricity is the ratio of the distance of center from the one focus and divided by what? That is E equal to C by A. So this is C is the distance of focus from the center, and A is what that is the semi-major axis. So E equal to C. From this you can write a C equal to what A. So this is the relation between the eccentricity and the C that is the distance of focus from the center. Okay, and now if you have to find What is the focus when ellipse along the x-axis? So ellipse along the x-axis. So y coordinate is zero. So what is the vertex of focus? Vertex of focus will be plus minus c zero. And you know c is what a e. So we can write this plus minus a e zero, right? In the same way, now there is a vertex. So vertex is what major axis is two a. So semi major axis is what a. So vertex will be what plus 
माइनस ए जीरो राइट प्लस माइनस ए जीरो मीन्स वट दैट इज ए जीरो और माइनस ए जीरो ए जीरो एंड माइनस ए जीरो सो प्लस माइनस ए जीरो सो दिस इज द फोकस दिस इज द वर्टिक्स एंड सेंटर इज वॉट हियर सेंटर इज एट ओरिजन सो सेंटर इज वॉट जीरो जीरो नाउ देर इज ए लेंथ ऑफ लेट एस राइट लेंथ ऑफ लेट एस राइट इक्वल टू वॉट टू बी ए स्क्वायर बाई ए राइट वेन ए लिप्स इज ए लॉन्ग एक्स एक्स then b is less than a so 2b a square by a so length of lattice rectangle to be a square by a focus this and vertex this and length of major axis is 2a length of so this is the first concept okay when ellipse is given along the x axis then x square by a square plus y square by b a square equal to 1 and a will be greater than b if a greater than b That means x is a major axis. So length of major axis will be what two a. Length of minor axis will be what that is the two b. The relation between the semi major axis a, semi minor axis b, and c that is the distance of center from the any focus because they have a two focus f one f two. So maybe from f one maybe from f two distance will be same that is the c. So this is the relation. Now we know eccentricity e is the ratio of the distance of focus from the center divided by what? That is the semi major axis. So c equal to you can write a e also. Now what is the focus when ellipse along x axis plus minus c zero plus minus c zero me plus minus a e zero vertex plus minus a zero that is a zero minus a zero. And C zero zero length of lattice rectangle is two b square by a. Now come to the second point. Second point is what? That is when given ellipse is like x square upon a square, y square by b square equal to one, and a less than b. So if a less than b. That is b greater. So ellipse is along y-axis. So ellipse is along what y-axis. So in this case, along y-axis. So if given ellipse along the y-axis, then length of major axis, length of major axis will be what? That is two b. Length of major axis will be what? To be because b is greater, so b is the major axis, right? So length of major axis to be. In the same way, this is length of minor axis. So length of minor axis equal to what? That is to be. Again, the relation between semi major axis, semi minor axis, and distance of center from the Any one fixed point that is focus. Will you what? So here B is the major semi major axis. So relation will be B square equal to A square plus C square. Again the same eccentricity E equal to what? That is C upon B because here B is the major axis. So E equal to what? C by B. So you can write here C equal to what? That is B. Now, what is the focus? Coordinate of focus. So you know this equation of parabola is along y-axis. So on y-axis, x coordinate will be zero. So coordinate of focus is what? Zero plus minus c. Or you know c is what? B. So you can write zero plus minus b. In the same way, there is a vertex, right? So again, our given ellipse is what along the y-axis. So x coordinate will be zero. So this is zero plus minus b. This is the vertex, and center is at origin, so it is zero. And length of lattice rectangle equal to what? That is two a square upon b. Two a square upon b. Because here 
A is the what? That is the semi minor axis. So L equal to what? 2A square by B. So this is the second case when our given ellipse is along the y axis. How can we find our given ellipse along x axis or y axis? Then you check that is coefficient of that is x square that is 1 by a square. So this a is greater then it is x is the major axis and if b is greater then y is the major axis okay now see the every question of the exercise 11.3 based on this format only now see the question so now there is a first question so first question is what see so find the focus vertex length of major axis length of minor axis eccentricity and length of lattice rectum so given equation is what x square upon 36 and y square upon 16 equal to 1 right so compare with compare with so if we compare this equation by x square by a square y square upon b square equal to 1. Then we will get a square equal to 36. a equal to what? 6. So a is plus minus 6. So we are taking here only positive sign. In the same way here b square 16. So b equal to what? 4. So now we found that that is a is greater than b. So our given ellipse is along the x-axis, right? So A greater than B. So our given ellipse is along x-axis. So first you find C. So we know the formula. If given ellipse is the along x-axis, then formula is what? A square equal to B square plus C square. So A square means what? 36. B square means what? 16. And this is what? C square. So C square equal to 36 minus 16. So this is what? That is 20. So C equal to what? That is plus minus root under 20 and 0. Because so here C is what? Plus minus root under 20. So 4 fives are 20. You can write plus minus 2 root 5. Right? Now we know now we know we have to find focus. So F equal to we know it is along the x axis. So formula is what? Plus minus C0. So plus minus C0. C is plus minus 2 root 5. So this is plus minus 2 root 5. 0. This is the carrot answer. Now vertex. So we know vertex equal to what? That is plus minus a0. So we know a is what? 6. So plus minus 6, 0 is right answer. Now length of major axis. So this is length of major axis. So length of major axis is 2a. So 2 into a is what? 6. So that is 12 is right answer. In the same way, length of minor axis. So this is length of minor axis. So length of minor axis equal to what? 2B. So B is what? 4. So 2 into 4, 8. Now we have to find E that is eccentricity. So you know eccentricity E equal to what? That is C by A. And we know C is what? Plus minus 2 root 5. So this is plus minus 2 root 5 divided by A. A is what? 6. So this is 2, 3, ja 6. So correct answer is plus minus root 5 divided by 3. Now length of lattice rectum. So length of lattice rectum is what? That is 2B square by A. So this is 2 into. B square is what? 16. So this is 16. And A is what? 6. So this is 6. So 2, 3, ja 6. So correct answer is what? 16 by 3. So we have solved this question very easily. So first you see what is the question. x square upon 36 
y square upon 60 equal to 1. Now compare this given equation of Philip with the standard equation of Philip. x square by a square plus y square by b a square equal to 1. Comparing and find a and b. So a square 36, a is what? 6. b a square 16, so b is what? 4. Now you check a greater or b greater. So a is greater than b. So our ellipse will along the x-axis. Now we have a, we have b. Now find the c. c is what? Distance of center from the one focal. So we know the formula a square equal to b square plus c square. So this is a square 36, b square 16, c square. So we will find c equal to plus minus 2 root 5. Now we have a, we have b and we have c. Now focus is what? Focus is, if given ellipse on the x-axis, then focus is plus minus c0. c we have found plus minus 2 root 5, so plus minus 2 root 5, 0. Vortex is what? Plus minus a0. So plus minus a is what? 6, so plus minus 6, 0. Length of major axis is 2a, so 2 into a, that is 2 into 6, 12. Length of minor axis is 2b, 2 into 4, a. Now, eccentricity is what? It is the ratio of the distance of center from the one focus divided by length of semi major axis. So, 2 root 5 upon a, c by a. So, 2 c given plus minus 2 root 5, a is given 6. So, this is the answer, root 5 by 3. Length of lattice rectum, 2b a square by a. So, this is the correct answer. Now come to the question number 2. So question 2 is what? Again it is given x square by 4 plus y square by 25 equal to 1. So compare this given equation. Compare with a standard equation of a lift that is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1. So if we compare this number, we will get a square equal to 4 and b square equal to 25. So a equal to taking positive sign, so a equal to 2 and b equal to 5. So what we check, which is greater? Here a less and b greater. So in this case, b is greater than a. So, our given equation is along the y-axis. So, if this equation along the y-axis, then we will find A no, B no. We will find C. What is C? C the distance of center from the focus 1. So, right? Your focus to both are same. So, relation is what? Here, B is the major axis. So, B square equal to what? A square plus C square. So, B square is what? 25. A square is 4. And this is what? C square. So, C square equal to 25 minus 4. That is 21. So, C equal to what? C equal to plus minus root under 21. This is the value of C. Now, we have value of A, value of B and value of C. Now you can find easily what is asked in the question. Question asks focus. So we have to find focus that is the foci. Foci is the plural of focus. So because ellipse have two focus, so it is called foci. So what is the coordinate of foci or you can say the focus is what? So here our given ellipse is on the y-axis. So x on y-axis, x coordinate is 0. So our answer is 0 plus minus c and we can write 0 plus minus c is what root under 21 so this is root 21 in the same way we have to find vertex v so vertex again vertex coordinate is what it is along y axis so x coordinate will be 0 so this is 0 and plus minus b so this is 0 plus minus what is b 5 so, correct answer is 0 plus minus 5. Now, we have to find length of major axis. So, length of, length of major axis. 
so length of major axis is what that is 2b so length of major axis is what 2b so 2 multiply b is given 5 so 2 into 5 10 in the same way we have to find length of minor axis so length of minor axis is what 2a so a is 2 so our answer is 2 into 2 that is 4 now we have to find eccentricity E. So we know eccentricity is what? C upon A. So this is C upon A. So we have already value C plus minus root 21. So this is plus minus root 21. And it is what? C by B. Because it is along Y axis. So C upon B. So B is what? 5. So our current answer is plus minus root under 21 by 5. Now we have to find length of lattice rectum. So length of lattice rectum equal to what? That is 2a square by b. So this is 2 multiply. a square is 4. So this is 4. And b is what? 5. So our carrot answer is 8 by 5. In this way we will find very easily question. So first given question is what? x square by 4 plus y square by 25 equal to 1. Compare this equation with the standard equation of ellipse. x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So a square equal to 4, 8, 2. b square 25, so b is 5. So here plus minus 2 plus minus 5, we are taking here only positive sign. So a2 and b5. Now we know the relation between the b square, a square and c square. So what is the c? c is the distance of one focus from the center of ellipse. So this is the relation b square equal to a square plus c square. Putting all the values we will get c equal to plus minus root 21. Now we have value of a, value of b and value of c. So you can find everything. So here 40 plus minus 0 plus minus c. Because our ellipse is on the y-axis, so x coordinate of will be 0. So 0 plus minus c, so 0 plus minus root under 21. Vertex again, x coordinate is 0, so 0 plus minus b, 0 plus minus 5. Length of major axis, so our ellipse along the y-axis, so major axis is b, so that is 2b, 2 into 5. Length of minor axis is 2a. Eccentricity is c by b and length of lattice sector 2a square by. In this way, we can solve this type of question very easily. Now see the question number 7. So we have done first question, second question and third to 6 we have left because these questions are same question like 1 and 2. So you can solve very easily. Now see the question number 7. So the question 7 is what? It is given 36 x square plus 4y square equal to 144. For this type of question, first you know that this is the equation of ellipsis what? So in RHS there is a 1. So divide the both side by 144. So when you divide both side that is 36 upon 144 x square and 4 upon 144 y square equal to 144 by 140. So this is cancel out and 36 4 the 4 6 are 24 4 3 are 12 to 14. So this is what 4 and here this is 4 3 are 12 and 4 6 are 24. So this is 4 3 are 12 to remainder 24 6. Are. So our equation is what x square by 4 plus y square by 36 equal to 1. Now you will compare this equation with the for standard equation of ellipse. So compare with compare with x square upon a square and y square by b square equal to 1. Then you will get a square equal to 4. So a equal to 2. In the same way b square equal to 36. Then b equal to what? 6. So a2 and b equal to 6, right? Now you, you can find c. So you know the here, here b is greater than a. So if b is greater than a, that means our given ellipse along y-axis. 
So if the ellipse along the y-axis, then what is the relation? Relation is b square equal to a square plus c square. So b square is what? 36. And a square is what? 4 plus c square. So c square will be what? 36 minus 4. So you will get how much? 32. So c equal to root under 32. 16 to the 32. So this is 4 root 2. So plus minus 4 root 2 is the value of c. So now we have value of a, value of b and value of c. Now we can find everything what is asked in the question. So we have to find for key and yeah, that is focus. So for key equal to what? We know it, the equation is along y axis. So again coordinate of for key will be what? 0 plus minus c. So this is 0 plus minus c. We have find 4 root 2. So this is 4 root 2. Now we have to find vertex. So again x coordinate is 0 and this is plus minus b. So this is 0 plus minus. b have 6. So this is 0 plus minus 6. Now we have to find length of major axis. So this is length of length of major axis. Length of major axis will be 2b. So 2 multiply 6 that is 12. In the same way length of length of minor axis. So length of minor axis equal to what? That is 2a. So here a is what? 2. So 2 into 2 that is 4. Now we have to find eccentricity. Eccentricity equal to c by b when our ellipse is along y axis. So c is what? Plus minus 4 root 2. And B is what? 6. So this is cancel out 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6. So this is plus minus 2 root 2 upon 3. Now length of lattice rectum. So length of lattice rectum equal to what? That is 2A square upon B. So this is 2 multiply. A square is 4. And B is what? 6. So we can find 2, 3, 6. That is 4 by 3. So in this way, if this, this is a model question, if this type of question came like 36 x square plus 4 y square equal to 144, then first you divide both sides by the RHS. That is here 144. So divide both sides by 144. Then you will get like x square by 4 y square by 36 equal to 1. Then compare this equation like the above question and you can find very easily A is 2 and B is 6. Now you check which is greater. Here B is greater. So our given ellipse along the y axis. So find the value of C first. Do you know the relation? B square equal to A square plus C square. So C is what? Root under 32. That is 16. 2 is 32 plus minus 4 root. Now you will find for key when it is along the y axis. So x coordinate will be 0. So that is what? 0 plus minus c. E. So 0 plus minus 4 root 2. What x is what? 0 plus minus b. So 0 plus minus c. E. Again length of major x is what? 2b. So 2 into 6, 12. Length of minor x is what? 2a. So 2 into 2, 4. E equal to what? That is the c by b. C we have plus minus 4 root 2 and B 6. So plus minus 4 root 2 by C that is 2 root 2 by 3. Length of lattice rectum 2A square by B. So answer is 4 by 3. So in this way this is the model question. Any question came this time you can solve the question like this. Now come to the point next question number 10. So question number 10 is different from these questions. See. So question number 10 is what? Find the equation of ellipse that satisfy the condition. In the all the above three question, equation of ellipse was given. We have to find different. Now we have to find equation of ellipse which satisfy the given condition. So what is the condition given? It is vertex. So vertex is given plus minus 5 0. And for key is given plus minus 4 0. 
so from the condition we find that plus minus 5 0 plus minus 4 0 in both vertex and for key both y coordinate is 0 so our equation of ellipse will be what our equation of ellipse will be along the x axis so equation will be what equation of ellipse will be what x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 so we have to find value of a and value of b so you know vertex vertex equal to it is given plus minus 5 0 and we know vertex is what plus minus a 0 when ellipse is along the x axis so when we compare this we will find a equal to 5 in the same way here for key f equal to given plus minus 4 0 right and plus minus 4 0 and we know focus is what that is plus minus c 0 right plus minus c 0 and c is what a e so we can write plus minus a e 0 plus minus a e 0 when we compare this equation we will get a e equal to what 4 a equal to what 4 now you know that a is already given 5 so when we put here 5 then 5 e equal to 4 so e equal to what 4 by 5 right so now we have to find a is already given e is already given and we have already c also so you can write a c equal to what that is 4 so plus minus 4 0 so plus minus c 0 c is 4 so no need to find a because we need only a b c because a found c found with the help of a and c we can find b very easily how you know the formula when given equation of ellipse along the x axis then our formula is what relation is what a square equal to b square plus c square so a square a is 5 so a square will be 25 b square we have to find and c square is what c is 4 so this is 16 so b square equal to 25 minus 16 so 15 minus 6 9 right so b square is now 9 so now we will find our equation x square yani put put a square equal to put a square a square that is 25 so a square equal to 25 and b square equal to 9 in first equation so this is the first equation so our answer will be x square upon 25 y square upon 9 equal to 1 this is the required equation of ellipse so again you see we have to find equation of ellipse condition is given vertex plus minus 5 0 and for key plus minus 4 0 so equation of ellipse is what x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 now we have to find a and b so vertex given plus minus 5 0 and we know vertex when equation of ellipse on x axis plus minus a 0 by comparing a is 5 in the same way focus a plus minus 4 0 given we know the formula that is focus equal to what plus minus c 0 so plus minus c 0 so c equal to what 4 so no need to find a e because we know only a b c so a is already c is already now when the equation of ellipse along the y axis then our relation is a square equal to b square plus c square so a square a already 5 so a square 25 b square is b square c square 16 so we can find b square 9 now put a square equal to 20 because a 5 so a square 25 and b square 9 in the equation number 1 so we will get x square by 25 y square by 9 equal to 1 this is the required equation now come to the next question that is question number 11 So this is the question 11. Question 11 is what? We have to find equation of ellipse 
and what is condition given here vertices here vertices given 0 plus minus 30 and focus for key given what 0 plus minus 5 so with the help of this we have to find equation of LH so we know from the vertices and for key x coordinate is 0 that means our ellipse will be along the y axis so equation of ellipse will be what equation of ellipse will be x square upon a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 where b is greater than a because the given ellipse is along the y axis so this is suppose this is the first equation now we have to find a and b from the given condition so vertices given 0 plus minus 30 and we know vertices equal to what that is 0 plus minus b so with comparing we will get b equal to what 30 in the same way this is focus for key is given 0 plus minus 5 and we know for key equal to what 0 plus minus c right so 0 plus minus c so this is 0 and plus minus c so with comparing you will get c equal to what 5 now we have value of b we have value of c we can find a very easily because we know the relation between the a b c when our ellipse is on y axis what is the relation that is b square equal to a square plus c square so b square b 30 so b square 169 a square we have to find c5 so c square 25 so a square will be how much 169 minus 25 so this is 144 so a square equal to 144 so no need to find a because we have to find equation equation we need what a square so a square 144 it is okay now put the value put a square equal to 144 and b square so b is what 13 so b square will be 169 in equation 1 so you will get x square upon 144 plus y square upon 169 equal to 1. This is the required equation of the LH. In this way, we have solved all these questions very easily. So, if you will read, if you will read and learn and watch this video from starting to end, you will understood every question very easily and you can solve all the question of exercise 11.3. In the next part, number four, we will do the next type of the question. Thank you.